Hey everybody, Steve G. Jones here with my good friend Sonia Riccati, a number one best-selling author, uh, books available around the world, writes about such things as self-help because she's been there, she's been down and out. So without further ado, Sonia, please tell everyone your story. Hi everyone, first of all, I want to introduce you to Buddha, Buddha Love, not my dog. I was going to say that's not <laughs> I'm a dog lover, so I had to get Buddha in here. Um, yeah, I, um, I'm a bounce back expert. I help people bounce back from difficult times. And uh, a lot of people oh, ask me, how did I become a bounce back expert and write books on the topic and stuff? And it's because I have um, hit rock bottom in the past and I had lost everything. And I got to a point where I, had, I was six, six figures in debt. I, w I had lost my home due to foreclosure. Uh, what else happened? Um, I, my relationship broke up. I had some serious health issues where I actually had a blood clot. And um, let's put Buddha over here. Buddha. Are you gonna hold her? Okay. Her, her, her full name is Buddha Love, by the yeah, way. So it's Buddha Love. Lovely dovey dog. And um, yeah, so I had a blood clot as well. So I had a lot of things uh, that, that happened to me, my relationship at the time uh, he was a, he is an alcoholic and so I could probably write 10 books just on that experience alone um, if you've ever uh, been with someone I'm laughing because the talk is <laughs> don't let us distract you Sonia please continue <laughs> sorry but this is the cutest dog ever I know. Uh, anyway so yeah so um, if you've you know, I was talking about uh, being with an alcoholic and that was a really difficult situation. I could probably write 10 books just on that topic alone. And if you've ever been with an alcoholic or a family member, you know, it's, it's a difficult situation. But everything had just fallen apart. All like this, all these things had happened at the same time. And so, you know, it's interesting because in, in the end, I got to a point where I just didn't know how I was gonna get out of my situation. I, you know, when you have six-figure debt, you lost your home, uh, you have serious health issues, your relationship just broke up, and all these things happening all at the same time, I personally got to a place where I just couldn't believe it because I just didn't know how I was going to get out of it. And I actually hit rock bottom to the point where I actually wanted to end my life. And not really end my life. I mean, I did, I the thought, you know, entered my mind, but it was more about I wanted to end the pain. The pain is what I wanted to end. Like, I just didn't want to feel that pain anymore. And in reality, I realized, you know what, if I did end my life, then I would be bringing this pain to the people that I love the most in my life. And that I, I knew then that was not an option. So I had to figure out a way to bounce back. And, you know, I have to tell you, Steve, that you know, you, you have these epiphanies um, in life, and I knew exactly where I was when it, things turned around. And it took a while for the actual, um, for it to actually show up in my life, but I remember exactly where I was. And when I had hit rock bottom and I got to that place where um, I just wanted to end it all, I just cried it out and cried it out and cried it out and just completely released it out to the universe and just let all those feelings out there and you know sometimes when we're going through a difficult time you know they you know people when it comes to the law of attractions you know people think well I'm gonna be generating negative energy if I cry and so they kind of just you know push it down and in, instead of releasing it and what happens is when you push it down you're actually um, it's actually worse because you're walking around constantly uh, generating negative energy because it's actually there but you're not acknowledging it so by crying I just cried it out for about an hour and I just released it and I remember getting up and by the way I was crying on my bed I was rolled up like a ball and I just I just I just remember it like it was yesterday it was that was when I hit rock bottom and then once all that happened and I released it I actually walked over to the window in my bedroom and I looked out, it was a beautiful maple tree, and I just remember looking and looking at it and thinking to myself, I don't know why this is happening, but one thing I know for sure, something big, huge, amazing is going to come out of it because I'm not going through this stuff for nothing. And that was like, I sent out the message out to the universe and the wheels were in motion from that moment on. And what's interesting is that I ended up 
about a week or two later, I was walking up the stairs of that house we were about to lose, and I got this message. And you can call it a message from God, universe, whatever you believe in. And it was one word. Right. Want to know what the word is? I do. <laughs> Please, tell us. The word is unsinkable. And it was just this random word that came to me and I, in that moment I said, I know exactly what that means. That's the title of my next book. And that is my mission in life moving forward. Teaching people to bounce back from difficult times and how to do it quickly, fast, and bounce back bigger than ever. And the funny thing is I remember, and I was on the fourth step of the staircase and I remember just continuing walking up and I remember saying to myself, well then, Sonia, you better bounce back really big, really fast, and go out there and teach others how to do it. And that's been your mission. And it's been my mission that ever is. since. Yeah. yeah, I met you after that, and I know that's always been your mission since I've known you. Yeah. If, if you're just joining us, go ahead and like this, go ahead and share it. We are live if you're watching us Wednesday afternoon. And this is Sonia. I told you I'd bring in somebody from the seminar so far. I've got Sonia, got lots of questions. I see lots and lots of questions already. So we're going to, uh, share those. Luckily, we have an Irish film producer with us. We have Matthew Toman, who's a friend of mine who flew in from Ireland. He's, he's running the behind the scenes here. We also have Buddha Love and Buddha Love's Buddha mommy. Love's sleeping. Buddha Love is taking a little snooze right and now. And we're going to let you know who Buddha Love's mom is. Yes. So you have to stay. The very end. Until the end. It's a 30 minute thing we're doing. Because it's a special doing. At the very end, person. It, she's very special, actually. Very so, special. Sonia's not just saying very that. She's a, yes, a wonderful success story. <laughs> yes. A very, very wonderful uh, story. Uh, which has to do with bouncing back, so we're going to have her at the end. Uh, so if you are just joining us, we want to say hello to all our Facebook friends. Hello there. And uh, we've been together. We've, we've um, been to the seminar for a few days now, um, and uh, Sonia has agreed to be on this because I said I got a lot of Facebook friends who want to hear some good stuff, so let me get you on there. Um, Michael Beckwith was here yesterday. Unfortunately, he had to get back. Um, we got some other, other wonderful people in town who I'm going to round up for you. But let's go ahead and uh, take any questions. We have got our, uh, our film producer here who's going to shout them out. And if you would, just turn that uh, power pack on there so we'll stay, stay powered. And uh, here we go. Well, Kathy Cook said she needs to get your book. So you can All right, okay. there you go. Well, Kathy, just stay on for a little bit longer because I'm going to actually be explaining to you what the steps are. So um, hang on, and uh, I'm going to be sharing that as well, um, how to do that. So how to bounce back big. That's right, and you yeah. did. You did. I mean, Sonia Okay, is... I didn't bounce back big. I bounced back huge. Oh, there you go. I, think, I, think I wonder who says that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. I'm Canadian. Uh, yeah, no, I'm she Canadian. says she's Canadian, but she sounds like a New Yorker to me, which is fine. Oh. We'll be in uh, Toronto, just coincidentally, well, not so much coincidentally, but uh, Sonia and I, although we're not traveling together, we will also be together at another mastermind next week in Toronto, so hopefully I can talk Sonia into doing this again. And... Uh, get some more information okay. out of her. What else we got there, Matthew? The statements come in, so everybody's sharing the love, everybody's loving it. All right. I love you. Yeah, and let me just see. All right, so okay, I'll we've tell got... You. Okay, sorry. Can yes, I, go ahead, as you Ask your questions, okay? Continue yes, asking your questions. I there. just want to um, tell you what the steps are to bouncing back, all right? So I think that that's really important because you're probably thinking, well, that's nice for her that she bounced back, but how do I do it, okay? So I'm going to give you three steps on how to bounce back quickly when life knocks you down, okay? So the first step, do you know what the steps are? I, I do, Sonia, but I don't want to spoil the yeah, surprise. Yeah, no, you're so. lying. You don't <laughs> know. I, you told me before, but I'm, I'm bounced back. Okay. I, I did them, so I'm You don't good. need to bounce back exactly. because you're already I'm, up there. Okay. I'm bouncing everywhere. Um, and just to let you know that Steve's a good friend of mine. Thank okay? you, Sonia. And I love his work. Thank um, you. And I love awesome. your work, and I love what you do. Thank you. And that's why you're here right now. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Forget about it. Okay, so the first step is reprogram your conscious mind reprogram your conscious mind and I, actually I'm going to give you all three steps and then I'll give you a brief description of what each one is reprogram your conscious mind reprogram your subconscious mind and elevate your vibration to a super high level 
to a level of love, peace, joy, and gratitude. Excellent. Those are the highest vibration states. And at that, at those level, once you're in that state, you'll be able to attract, um, you know, all positive, amazing people, situations, and things into your life, all right? And I'm gonna jump in every now and then with a shout out, so if you wanna do a shout out, go ahead, I'll be the guy who, who reads them. Uh, Shabazz says, amazing, this is exactly what I've been looking for for a while, bouncing back. Excellent, Kathy Cook says hi, hello. Hey. And uh, Leela says, thanks, Dr. Steve, you are welcome. And uh, here it's 2.22 a.m., wow, okay. Thank you for tuning in, even though it's late where you are. Awesome. Two, two, two. All right, please continue. Okay, so um, the first step is uh, reprogram your conscious mind. And what your conscious mind is, is basically your thoughts. Now, believe it or not, whenever you are going through a difficult time in your life, you're feeling sad, angry, resentful, all those negative, yucky feelings, often we blame the people around us the situation around us and the reason i feel this way is because of george leaving me or my boss was mean to you or i have this health issue something outside of you and hello brenda hi brenda and in reality the truth is that that is not where your pain and suffering is coming from see what happens is when you're going through a difficult time you have what's going on outside of you right and then you feel a certain way. But something happens in between. And what happens is you have a thought about what's going on outside of your life or what's going on in your life. Your thought about your boss being mean to you or your husband or wife leaving you or your health issue or whatever it is or financial issues. Your thought about that is actually making you feel the way you do. Your thoughts are causing your suffering. And so, all you have to do is shift your thoughts, shift your conscious mind, and you'll immediately start feeling better. See, when we're going through a difficult time, we tell ourselves stories. And when you're not feeling good, the story you're telling self is not a positive story. And so, since it's a story anyway, you might as well change the story so it's a positive story that will make you feel good. So for instance, if you, um, your husband left you, and all you're thinking is, I can't believe it, he left me after 20 years, he never loved me, um, you, know, you know, all these negative things that, are, that you're thinking about. It ends up happening that, what ends up happening is that you don't feel good. And so you need to change your interpretation of what's going on in your life. And believe it or not, there's actually a silver lining in every single situation. So you just need to look for it in order once you find the silver lining, so if your husband left you, then you need, for instance, that's just an example, um, you might be thinking to yourself, uh, you, know, my, uh, you know, my husband left me and I'm not feeling good, so how can I shift this? Well, you know what? I wasn't really happy anyway for the last 20 years or the last five years. And let, me, let me jump in here, Shabazz and Kathy, we will get to your questions. Thank you very much. Leela says, please shake your hands. For us, Dr. Jones, thank you. I'm shake so happy. Your hands. I'll, I'll shake them. There we go. <laughs> now, because of this program, thank you. Are you there? Yes, we are here. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And uh, please continue, Sonia. We just want to acknowledge people okay. and give shout outs. And if you're just joining us, go ahead and like this and share it with your friends. And this we is want, Buddha Love. And this is Buddha Love if you're just and tuning in. You're going to meet her mom, but not her real biological mom. Right. Because that would be a dog. Because her real biological mom doesn't talk much. So she's not <laughs> that good at interviews. Kind of like Buddha, but looks. Looks very cute, but her, her real mom uh, is her an awesome mom, person. Her, her, her uh, foster adopted, mom, yes, adopted her human mom, mom has has actually a wonderful story. Okay. You're going to want to okay, hear so the Okay, so let me let me continue. Yes, Sonia. Okay? Yes, Sonia. So, so reprogramming your conscious mind is all Sonia. about shifting your thoughts. I your told thoughts, you she's she's a New Yorker. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> your thoughts are causing your suffering in your life. So what you're thinking about in that moment about your situation is what's causing you to feel the way you do. So just change what you think. That's all. You need to change your thoughts shift your thoughts and you'll change your life okay so that's uh step number one and just to let you know normally it takes like an hour to just explain step number one all so right. i'm doing this quickly Thank okay you, Sonia. i know you're all busy right and so step number and two we've got to get back to the seminar also yes yes we do so step number two is reprogram your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is so powerful even more powerful than your conscious mind and it's back here right and so what happens is um we have limiting beliefs that we have uh, um, that we have picked up over the years 
uh, based on what people have told you, whether your teachers, your parents, friends, experiences, and you know things have happened to us over the years. And what happens, what has happened is we picked up these beliefs. And so for instance, if you're going through difficult financial times like I had in the past, um, you probably picked up some limiting beliefs over time. And the thing is you don't manifest what you want, you manifest what you believe. And so if you have limiting beliefs around money, for instance, then it will be difficult for you to actually manifest great wealth into your life. So you need to make sure that you shift your limiting beliefs and, and shift them into positive empowering beliefs. All right. And so your limiting beliefs can look like um, you maybe. And, and by the way, you can find out what your limiting beliefs it takes. It's a little harder to find out what your limiting beliefs are. You need a little extra work and pay really close attention to what you're telling yourself on a daily basis around that area of your life that's not working. And so, for instance, if you're having money issues, um, I'll, I'll give you an example of what happened to me. And thank you, George. And thank you, Leela. Thank you for what? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading it there. Okay, George says pretty puppy. Leela says thanks, Sonia. Okay. And, we're, and, and when Sonia wraps up in a few minutes, we're going to open up to questions. So okay. save your questions. Okay. She, she, Sonia's on a roll. Yes. And so I'm going to give you an example of how I found out what my limiting beliefs was around money when, you know, I was, I, um, was going through difficult financial times. So, you know, once I started, things started picking up financially for me, I remember I was making six figures. And I remember saying to myself, I really want to manifest seven figures. The people around me, the people I know, they're all making seven figures doing what I do. And I'm working just as hard as they are, even harder than they are. And it just, no matter what I did, it just, I kept on running on this treadmill. And it just wasn't going anywhere. And I remember I was sitting at, um, in my car with my dog and uh, on my way to the dog park, and I remember I, I saw it was a red light and I was just looking at the red light and this thought came into my mind that I became conscious of. By the way, once you start becoming aware of your thoughts, that's the first step to transformation, okay? So my thought in that moment was, well, you know what, you know, Sonia, you want, I know you want seven figures and that's what you want for your business, but the truth is you know how, what's gonna happen you're gonna make those seven figures, and in order to make those seven figures, you need to have a really big team. And when you have a really big team, you're gonna have so many headaches around having this big team, because I used to work in the corporate world, and I, at one point, had about 500 employees, and, and it was major headaches, and I wasn't happy. And so, in my mind, and in my subconscious mind, in my conscious mind, I was saying, I wanna make one or two million dollars. And my subconscious mind is, no, you don't. You don't want that. Because remember, you know, how miserable you were when you were managing all those people? In order to make one or two million dollars, you actually need to have a lot of staff, and that's not what you want. And your wish is my command, and I wasn't able to manifest it. And what's great is I recognized that thought coming into, uh, the, at that moment, I, I laughed. Because that isn't true. That's just a limiting belief. I can have a multiple seven-figure business, without having a lot of employees. And the employees that I do have, they're going to be my dream team. And you know, together we're going to transform lives around the planet. And it's going to be a positive experience. And that's exactly what I ended up manifesting in my life. I was able to shift those limiting beliefs. You need to find out what those limiting beliefs are first before you can actually shift them. And in that moment, I realized what my limiting belief was. But for a lot of people, limiting beliefs can be anything from, you know, uh, making money is hard, or money doesn't grow on trees, or rich people are jerks, right? And when rich people, if you're saying rich people are jerks, then you're telling the universe, God, whatever you believe in, that you don't want to be rich because who wants to be a jerk, right? You don't want to be, and so, you know, that is what usually happens um, in life is when these limiting beliefs take over in that area of your life that's not working, it's really, really hard to transform that and shift it. So you just need to figure out what your limiting beliefs are. And step three is, um, Elevate your vibration to a super high level. It's all about the law of attraction. It's about getting to a state where you feel love, peace, joy, and gratitude. When you're in those states, first of all, it feels really, really good. 
Second of all, I don't know if you believe in this or not, and I know you do, um, but the law of attraction is all about energy, and what you put out there is what you attract back into your life. And if you're in a state of love, peace, joy, and gratitude, those are the highest vibration states. You want to get yourself to that state feeling fantastic so you will attract positive people, things, and situations into your life. Those are the three steps. Wow, in record time. <laughs> that normally takes, what, seven hours, you said? Uh, a long time. long time. <laughs> well, we have, thank you, Sonia, for that. And Buddha Love has passed out. This is our lovely dog. You'll be meeting her, her human mommy later on. Matthew Toman is here, Irish film producer, and he's going to read off all the comments that we've been... Uh, that, that have been coming in. So Matthew, go ahead and fire away and we will handle it. Well, they're more like statements. So it's like Rosemary is talking about programming and balance. You know, what's your views on that? Programming and balance. And uh, your, your brief views on that? We have many questions. Programming and balance? Yeah. I'm not sure what that means. Well, she didn't really come in with the question, but All she right. sort of made a statement. So uh, oh, okay. Yeah, talking about also being an artist in, in LA and just the healing that is, that is necessary for the job that's in it. The healing? Healing and being, like, coming, bouncing back. Just a there. statement? Yeah. Okay, oh, well, okay. good yeah. stuff, yeah. And the next one? Any questions? Not really questions. People okay, the next like one. Coming at, um, thank you both for, thank you both for. You're welcome. Us, yeah. Oh, no problem. Um, Our pleasure. By the way, I just want to say one thing. If you're going through a difficult time in your <clears> life, <throat> things will turn around. Amazing things are waiting for you around the corner. Just hang on believe because remember you don't manifest what you want you manifest what you believe and so i just want you to know there's there's no coincidences there's a reason why you're here right now listening to this if i was able to bounce back in a really big way so can you just pay attention to all the different signals and opportunities all around you they are there all right absolutely matthew what else you got and a rapid fire through them it's just people to sound about work. Do more. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and read it. Go ahead and read it. There you go. Um, Who says what? Wonderful as always. Thank you. Who for says your that? Who um, said that? Don says. This. Don says oh, you're welcome. Um, Claire, thank you both. I'm learning so much from you. You're welcome, Claire. Thank you. Um, Norma, hi, Dr. Steve. Hello, Norma. <laughs> um, Jean, being an artist is not is an easy picture in itself. Changing the world, etc. That's what Jean, Jean said. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. These are pretty much changing the world. What else we got? Um, this has been very helpful. I'm going through a painful divorce. Who said that? Thank you both. Um, Caitlin. Caitlin, thank you. Um, Brenda, my husband died after 25 years together. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm done. Oh, God, it's a bit of a sad one. Um, you're you're from the couple, and you're doing, you're doing both stuff really special, too. Thank you. Are, and who said that? Um, that was Brenda. Brenda, thank you. Brenda. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss, and I'm sending lots of positive, loving, healing energy your way. And we have something special, Brenda, that I, well, it's uh, a loss that almost happened that didn't, which is uh, coming up at the end. Which so. has to do with Buddha's law. Yes, mom. mystery. This is Buddha. Very Buddha wonderful. Love. And what else do we have there, Matthew? Um, Joe, I needed to hear this. Joe says, I need to hear that. Thank you, Joe. We're glad to do this. Who else we've got here? Mateus, thank you both. It's a great job. Mateus, great. thank you, Mateus. Hi, Mateus. Yeah. Getting a lot of love sent. A lot of love from who? That that last one was from Elise. 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 Sometimes we'll butcher names, so that's okay. <laughs> and it looks like Shabazz yeah, says, thank you. Hours. You made my day. And uh, Joe says, I need to hear this. I think we covered that. Okay, so and I just want to say wonderful. one. I just want to say one thing. Um, if like what I taught is like obviously this is very compact um, if there's one thing you can do right now anytime you are not feeling good ask yourself this one question what am I thinking about right now because your thoughts are causing you to feel the way you do and as soon as you become aware it's like well I'm you know I'm thinking all these negative thoughts that's why I'm not feeling good then you are conscious of those thoughts and you'll be able to shift them consciously shift those thoughts and just shift it and look for the silver lining you have amazing things going on in your life right now amazing amazing things and you know it's a, it's interesting because sometimes when we're going through a difficult time what we're doing is it's we're staring at a closed door and not only is it closed but it's locked and what happens is when it's locked not only are you not going anywhere 
but things will not turn around quickly for you. And what's important then is to step away from that closed door and look at all the open doors that are all around you. There are so many open doors all around you, but sometimes we're so stuck staring at that closed door, complaining and focusing on the negative things and focusing on the problems rather than focusing on the solutions. All right, so just ask yourself that questions that question what am I thinking about right now that's making me feel this way and you'll be shocked at what you're telling yourself in your mind outstanding and Jean, yeah. Jean has a question I see Jean said uh, what is the best way to handle coming tears when talking to people are thinking about stress sorry say that again it's it, she might mean coming to terms but talking to people are thinking about stress Jean wants to know about uh, talking to people Coming to terms with stress. The best way to okay. It? How do you handle stress, Sonia? Just in general? Sure. Okay. So the first thing you do when you're feeling stressed is take a deep breath. Uh, I know that sounds really basic, but just take a deep breath. Um, Hello, Grete, by the way. Hello, Gregory. Hey. And so um, when I'm feeling extremely stressed, we do some really big things, massive launches, online webinars. We do a lot of stuff. And when things get very, very stressful, the first thing I do is I just take a deep breath and I just immediately just stop everything and I take a break. And um, often I'll go for a walk, uh, just completely just, just clear my mind. Uh, you know, and, and it works also when it comes to stress because often when we, get, we feel very stressed, um, it's because of what we're thinking in our minds and how we're interpreting what's going on. One thing I wanna say is, you know, whenever you're feeling really stressed, just ask yourself, is this really going to matter two years from now? And usually the answer is no, right? And question. then it just kind of puts yourself, puts everything in perspective and saying, wow, I'm really exaggerating this whole thing. I need to calm down. And just remember that, you know, just, just the fact that we're alive, just the fact that, you know, no matter what's going on in your life, there are a lot of amazing things in your life, amazing people in your life, and focus on those. That will immediately elevate your vibration and help you feel better. Yeah. Absolutely. Jean so, actually said it was tears that she was coming to. Jean uh, says it was tears. Yeah, and Kathy also advised when she's stressed, she listens to music. Very, yes. very good idea. Yes, high vibration music, things that make you feel good. Very awesome. Thank you for everything. And we said that at the end of the broadcast, we would have a special guest, and that is Buddha. This is, the dog's name is Buddha Love. This is Buddha Love's mother, human mother, coming on. And Sonia, would you like to introduce her before yes. we bring her on? Okay, so um, this is a very special friend of mine, and um, I've known her for many, many years. And she is a self love expert, so we're so excited to have her here. But she's perfect for us here talking about this topic of bouncing back because a year ago, um, her name is Rika and she was diagnosed, and she'll tell you the story, but she was diagnosed with cancer and um, fourth, stage four cancer as well. And she actually cured herself and she's 100% cured. And so she bounced back big, big, big in a really big way. And I wanted you to meet her. Okay, welcome, Rika. Aww, thank you, Rika Zimmerman. Hop in here. Yeah, well, we get to kind of like, there we go. We, we, got, we got Buddha Love right in the middle, <laughs> and Sonia Love. <laughs> so, so yeah, go ahead, go I was going to say, tell us about. I mean, this is something that I just learned about today, actually. Um, that last year, uh, around this time, you discovered something. You didn't know what it was. Take it from there and tell us what happened. And it was actually at this hotel, at this mastermind, with this group of people. And um, who knew? Um, but I actually, when I went into the doctors, um, they gave me eight weeks to live. Wow. So here I was at this mastermind, not knowing that eight weeks from now, I actually wouldn't have a life any longer. Wow. Which is pretty amazing. So I went into the, to the doctors, and they diagnosed me with um, stage four melanoma cancer. I had seven brain tumors in my head. Um, one was the size of two golf balls um, in my neck, liver, intestines, lungs. Um, it was basically sprouting up everywhere. And with all the doctor's appointments, you know, they were kind of turning green. The doctors would come in and they, and they had quivering in their lips and they were kind of... They just didn't know how they, to they, deal with it. Yeah, they were like, you wow. know, how did it even get to this point? what's going on and um so you know i ended up having a braf gene that hid the cancer from my body so my body thought it was a hundred percent healthy wow. and it wasn't um and everything i was doing to support my immune system even the organic food was actually making the cancer healthier you know so 
Really, it was working for it the cancer. It was working for the cancer because my like, body didn't know it had cancer, so it was supporting wow. everything that's going on. So, in what my did body. you do to to get out of it? You had to change a few things. Changed everything, and you know, so, I, I, Sonia's three steps. Um, you know, bouncing back big, changing your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and raising your vibration. Um, it's, sh I mean, it shifts everything. So, are you? Would you feel that you're a, a different person now? Were you maybe more of a negative person? Now you're more of a positive person. Or what have the changes been? Uh, well, there's nothing like facing death to completely change your whole life. I can imagine, right? I mean, I couldn't imagine. That's um, remarkable. Yeah, because you don't you don't realize it, but in your life, you know, everywhere you're resisting something, everywhere you don't want to face something, everywhere you don't want to deal with something, those are all places where you're not really living. And when it comes to, you know, having, being faced with, you know, you might not be able to be here, you begin treasuring everything. You know, you begin finding the love and the peace and the joy, even in sadness and in grief and in every experience, because you're so grateful that you get to live. It's like, oh my God, I get to be here. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> and I just want to, I just want to uh, make sure that you explain to people what you did do yes. in order, because I don't so, want them to think, oh my God, yeah. so guess three steps is going to cure no, cancer. No, no. So that's, that's really the, I mean, the energetics of it is that, you know, we need to reprogram the conscious mind, subconscious mind, and, you know, change the vibration. But I did nutrition, I did Eastern medicine, I did Western medicine. Um, they put me on an immune um, therapy trial, which was kismet also because there was only 900 people in the world that got on this trial, wow. and you had to have brain tumors wow. to get on That's it. That's a bad, so, a horrible way to have to qualify for something, but yeah. it's good that you got in. And I was the worst case and really? the best results. Wow. And now they're studying me because they're like, and I didn't take the drugs for the year after, and they're like, hmm. who is, what What happened? How did you do this? How did you shift it so quickly, you know? So And just so you, so you know, she's 100% cancer-free right now. Cancer-free! Yeah. Woo-woo! So wherever you guys are, whatever's going on in your world, not only is there hope, but there are doors that are open all around you, right? Just like Sonia said, you know, staring at that, that door closed of like, oh my God, I might die, and it's like, wait a second. What if we can open the store? You know, what if we can invite in these possibilities? What if miracles are possible for you? And that's and just, miracles do happen. Yes, I'm a testament of miracles do happen. So miracles can happen in your life too. Well, thank you. And we're not pushing any not kind of program or anything. We're just sharing what can happen. Um, if you do have any kind of illness, you of course need to consult with a medical doctor. Yes. I, I consulted with you lots of medical that. doctors. Yes, very nicely done. And a wonderful success story. And a wonderful story about just believing yourself and, and things working out and taking charge of your life and bouncing back. So thank you for sharing that. And taking adversity and thriving after, you know, taking le the lemons that life has given you and turning, in turning it into sweet lemonade. You can do it. I like it. So now we're going to open up to questions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and fire them off. And I see that... Uh, we have uh, Leela, Dr. Steve, and Sonia. Thanks. Good job. Sorry. I want to go. Bye. We'll talk to you next time. We'll see you. <laughs> and uh, Lumita, Dr. Steve, where are you now? We're at a mastermind. Somebody mentioned something with a puppy. Um, Matthew, what else do we have? Um, this, uh, Anita talks about using uh, sound vibration frequency, you know? Sound vibration frequency yes. Anita's talking about. It's great for did you use that as well? I did. I did. It's you perfect. know what? I, I did everything. So you want to meet somebody who did everything? I That's did you. Everything. Did everything. Yeah. Paid off. Nutrition. I mean, all of it. It was like I was going at it from every direction. I figured the more I could do, the better. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And we have something from Keith there. What yeah, we... Keith sees the repeated problems and life issues that he has, and it's just a way of giving an opportunity and learning and growing. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I have to about. say that after everything that's happened to me. Um, I'm actually grateful for it all because I wouldn't be living the dream life I'm living today if that all hadn't happened. And I am infinitely grateful for cancer. Really. For cancer? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Just I know. Can you believe she just life. said that? Can yes. you believe wow. she just said yeah. that? Can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. I, I was going to high five you. I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> high five <in> cancer. <laughs> I'm glad you survived. Yes. Do that. Okay. You no, know, I'm glad that you're thriving. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, I'm mean, sure. I'm glad you're really, really thriving. Yes. Yes. For your turn, Sonia. Yeah, I'm Which web is looking for your website, Sonia? Uh, leadoutloud.com. Leadoutloud.com. Yeah, so on, so on your Riccati. Sounds Italian, but it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It is Italian. Yes. Oh, no, I meant it sounds uh, like a, it seems like, you seem like a, uh, a lot of my friends are New York Italians, and you kind of strike me Okay, just as to let that. you know. But you're from, go I'm ahead. I'm first generation Canadian, so I'm really Italian. I speak Italian with my parents. Go ahead, say okay. some Italian. Ciao, come va? 
You could have just read it. <laughs> How do you say, uh, I would oh, like... Oh, no, don't make me speak <laughs> All right. My stepmom's Italian. All right. So, uh, and then... Go ahead and get some information about yourself. Oh yeah, um, so if you guys would like to, you know, receive some free gifts and, and that, you can go to rikazimmerman.com. It's R-I-K-K-A-Z-I-M-M-E-R-M-A-N.com. There you go. Yeah. And Matthew Tolman, thank you for being here. He is a film producer from Ireland, and uh, we are infinitely grateful to you. We will be, you, you want to you wanna come in here and come do here a quick shout out for hi, yourself? Yeah. Say hi. Come on, straight yeah. from Ireland. Let me take off your... Uh, my name badge. Yeah, there you go. There's, there's Matthew. There, there, there he is. There he is. That's what Irish people look like. There he is. So, uh, yeah, great, great crew, great bunch of people, great bunch of friends. I told you I would deliver. I told you I was coming to this mastermind with some friends, and I'd deliver. And here they all are. So thank you, every one Can of I you. Can I mention one thing? Of course, Sonia. We wouldn't, it wouldn't be complete if Sonia didn't, if you know, the throw something words. else in there. Yeah. Go ahead. They make fun of me all the time. Um, if anyone wants to get the ebook, there's an, uh, a short ebook. It's um, it's called uh, Bounce Back Big. You can go to beunsinkablenow.com. Beunsinkablenow.com, and you just get a free ebook. There you go. There you go. Awesome. All righty. Well, thank you both for sharing. Thank you for uh, running the show here, Matthew. Yay. Matthew got thank us. You. Got us well in. Well, you helped too, so thank you for that. You provided Buddha yes. and Buddha love and the wonderful story. All right, on behalf of myself, Dr. Steve G. Jones, and everyone here, we hope you have an outstanding day. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye.